Hey folks, Stephen Hook with Nashville Steam here. We're very excited to announce that the 576 has successfully completed and passed its required FRA hydrostatic test. This is a tremendous milestone for the organization and for the project, being the first time that the locomotive has seen such a pressure since at least 1952. This is a critical test that involves filling the boiler with water entirely, removing all pockets of air, and then compressing the boiler to 25% over its maximum authorized working pressure, or MAWP. On the 576, the maximum authorized working pressure is 250 pounds per square inch, making our hydrostatic test pressure 312 and a half PSI. We're proud to announce that the boiler was successfully pressurized to that point and held for a prolonged period of time while the proper inspections were taking place with the witness of FRA officials. While the hydrostatic test work was taking place, we also took the time to knock some other items off of the list, like installing lubrication lines underneath the cab floor, installing the locomotive's injector and feed water pump, and installing the cold water pump. These items being in place will allow us to begin running the piping that's necessary for them to operate both during our steam test, which will be upcoming after the hydro, and when the locomotive is in service. If you look in the 576's cab and on its back head, you will start to see chalk lines that are outlining where the different appliances, piping, and other adornment will exist on the locomotive when the cab is back in place. These layout marks are going to help us when we begin installing appliances, valves, handles, levers, and all the necessary components that go into the locomotive's cab as we begin to build everything back together. The 576's boiler has not been this complete since mid to late 2019 when we began removing components from it that needed to be replaced. Of course, once we restore the locomotive to operation, we then have to make sure that we can maintain it and efficiently operate it out of the facility that we're in currently. Once we have the locomotive restored to operation and have completed our test runs, our focus will have to shift quite significantly to ensuring that we can efficiently operate the locomotive out of the facility that we're at now and potentially explore facilities for a new home in the future. It is oftentimes significantly understated how big of a milestone this is because there's no theatrics, there's no animation, there's nothing to a hydrostatic test except for watching the movement of a needle on a gauge. However, that movement of that needle to 312 and a half PSI on this gauge represented the last six years of hard labor put in by our volunteers. And for that, we are truly grateful. If you would like to be a part of this transformation or donate, please visit our website at nashvillesteam.org.